Okay, I'm going to set up the apparatus for a distillation experiment. Now, the apparatus we use for this is called Quick Fit. Um, quick Fit apparatus contains um, glass with, with ground glass joints and different bits of equipment can just slot into those joints and um, create a seal um, and easy to assemble and disassemble. So for distillation, what we're going to do is um, clamp a pear-shaped flask um, and, and clamp it round the neck of the flask there. When we heat for distillation, we can um, use direct heat from a Bunsen burner, or we could um, surround that flask in a, in a hot water bath um, to give a, a slightly more gentle heat. Um, so this has been clamped at such a height that if we put a, um, a tripod underneath, um, the flask is just above that tripod. And if I put a hot water bath there, um, that's all contained um, at that point. Okay, so into the pear-shaped flask for um, distillation or for reflux, we always add anti-bumping granules. And anti-bumping granules are tiny bits of glass which provide a, a big surface for small bubbles to form on. And those bubbles, um, when, it, when the liquid boils, won't um, overwhelm the, the apparatus and, and end up forcing liquid over. So the anti-bumping granules are, are useful there. Um, into the pear-shaped flask goes a still head. And the still head has a, a, a joint here. The joint connects to a condenser, it's the Liebig condenser, and just to hold those in place, we use a, a little clip, and that stops the condenser from sliding. And um, however, it is a good idea to gently clamp the condenser um, just because of the weight coming down this side. Um, don't clamp it securely. Um, what we don't want is for the um, for the clamp to cause the, the whole apparatus to, to slide or to lose the, the connections over here. So just loosely clamp that um, so it's all kept secure. The end of the condenser, or the condenser, um, the water it always attaches um, with the water going in at the bottom end of the condenser, the water will then fill up the, the jacket around the condenser and then exit from the top of the condenser. Sometimes a good idea just to pop a, um, a funnel into the end of that condenser to weigh it down um, and keep it in the sink. Um, keeping the, all the rubber tubing um, tucked well away from where the heat is going to be. At the end of the condenser, we pop a delivery tube. Again, we use a, a plastic clip to hold it in place. Um, and we can collect our liquid, our distillate, in a, um, a test tube. Um, something like that. Sometimes you'd use a measuring cylinder if you want to measure um, a volume of, of distillate. And um, it's often a good idea, particularly with volatile compounds, to um, pop that collecting vessel into a water bath. Um, and we could use a, a, an ice water mix, for instance, in there, um, so that the um, the distillate is cooled down, um, particularly if it's volatile, so it doesn't escape. Into the top of the still head, we put a, um, an adapter with a thermometer in it, and the bulb of the thermometer um, is, is positioned such that um, we measure the temperature of any vapors just as they enter into the condenser. So, so that's the setup for
for distillation. Set up for reflux, very similar to distillation, um, source of heat around the pear-shaped flask. This time the condenser is um, put, placed vertically into the pear-shaped flask. Again, the water will come in at the bottom of the condenser and leave from the top of the condenser um, and a funnel can help just weigh the, the end of that tubing so it doesn't escape um, into the sink. And the setup for reflux therefore, uh, as your liquid boils, the vapors rise into the condenser where they cool, condense and drip back down. And this is a method which we can use to um, boil a, a liquid for a long period of time without it boiling dry. The top of the condenser is left open. We don't put a stopper into that because that would create a sealed system um, which could behave as, as a bomb. Um, it could explode. Um, so we don't want that. Um, so don't forget to leave the top of the condenser um, open.